I want to make a shroud for this uh, Dapsonian flex suit. It's got watch over 250. So I measure the the circumference approximately, which is 33 from that end to the end of this uh, uh, truss. And uh, from here to here is uh, of that white line is around 40 41 so and uh, so I need uh, to multiply that by uh, pi the diameter by pi 2 pr 2r is the diameter and pi is 3.4 uh, 2.14 and then I get the approximate circumference of this the height of this 41 so I can add that and uh, let me just show you the material this is the kind of outside leather or something like that and inside fabric stretchy fabric slightly stretch so I can use it for this and uh, I will create a seam then I put some string. I have this uh, string that you use for uh, uh, curtains. And I will uh, make a seam here and pass that uh, inside this. And what that means is that I can attach it around circumference and pull it and just tighten it up. The same for the lower part. And this will be ready. Okay, I have now measured the uh, first I measured the length that is the circumference that's 93 for a tight um, um, tight fit and then I increase it to 100 centimeter one meter so that will be the seam falling over each other then I have to put a, a kind of like a pipe I have to patch it here for this uh, rope to go inside it. So I took it seven millimeters. So I will start to sew this now, and uh, I will do it. Then um, I will go on on the telescope and uh, fit it just to see how it is. Then I will measure exactly where the lower part. I know it is 41, 40 but I will make sure that is really good fit. Then I will go for the next stage. Okay, I have now uh, finished the patching of this seam. I've passed this uh, rope, which is a rope that we use for the uh, curtains. Pass it through here. To keep this constant when I'm uh, sewing, this is a really tough material like leather. I use these pegs, I use a lot of them, so you can use it also for keeping the or you can use a, you know, safety pins or anything like that. I'm now going to test it on the telescope to see how it fits. Okay, I have now done the shroud, as you can see. Uh, outside is this color, I didn't have the choice. Uh, but inside is definitely black, dark, that's what I wanted. And there is a seam here, which you can see in my hand. I will close it. What I will do here, I pass this uh, rope that we use for the curtains. I will do the same down there. I may even be able to use a uh, something like elastic band, but elastic band make it more permanent. With this rope, I can just open it and close it as I wish. And uh, in this way, removing the cap from here will be easy. I just put it and remove it every time I want. Then I will, I can either install this shroud or remove it. I did all this with the uh, hand. It's very tough material, but uh, I managed to do it. Let's see what the next stage will be. Okay, now I'm doing the other side of it. I take the 39 centimeter from the edge of this seam and then three and a half centimeter from the edge to the end there where the uh, rope will go there and so in total 43 i mark it here with this uh, crayon and i will go like that 
Um, of course, this is three, uh, three and a half, so I have to add another three and a half, so because it will be folded. So this is one three and a half here, so I have to add another uh, three and a half here, so that will be almost here. Then I will turn the seam, it will be something like this here, and I will pass the rope. So later I may think about putting something in the middle to give it a little bit of strength and the structure so it will be round, it will not sag into the um, uh, light path of the back. Okay, this is the way I'm sewing now. This is the top part and this will be the bottom. And you can see I put the seam uh, holding it in place because it's a tough material with these pegs, cloth pegs, and I'm sewing it. Uh, it's tough but I manage it. Uh, the, the trick is use a good thick uh, needle. Uh, I've now done the bottom part with elastic band and the top part with the rope. So the bottom part I pass this elastic band through this here. The trick is to use a safety pin and gradually push it through here and uh, every time is a little bit uh, time consuming, but it will it can be done easily in three, four minutes. And this one was much easier because you think it just passes through that. And now I'm going to test it. So here to there is uh, 39 to 40 centimeter. You can measure it for yourself and just adjust for your telescope. This is for a 25, uh, 250 millimeter to, um, or 10 inch, uh, Flex tube, Dobsonian, that's the sky watcher. Okay, first I attach this uh, elastic band part. Now I'll go after that for this rope. And let's do it. Okay, this is the way it looks, as you can see. And I'm now going to um, look at the inside of the tube. So I have now positioned it for seeing how is the inside and let's see how is the inside. As you can see, I don't see any obstruction on the way of the light. Let me just look at an object and see how it will be. Okay, let's see how it is. Uh, I've not put the eyepiece, but you can see the field of view slightly by this side that I'm touching and it's lighted there. I can put some, uh, but this exists even with the AstroZap. Uh, uh, I have those uh, in the Flex 300p that exactly exists there. I can put some some material here to give it that spherical shape. Uh, I mean curved shape. This is a piece of plastic that can bend easily without breaking. I can put it inside it and uh, or do something like a guitar or piano wire can also hold the shape. Mm, I may find a way for that but at the moment that's what I wanted. I can uh, yeah, I can make it permanent or and that means I will attach this here or if I don't attach it here I can remove it every time I don't want it by using this tie and then the, all this shroud comes like a skirt falls down toward this way. Anytime I'm not using it it comes like that and I can put it up if you want use it okay if you see I put that plastic uh, piece of plastic here I noticed the Astro Zap also has such a thing so practically that's how it is and this is the part that uh, I'm pressing you can see when you look from here again the view Toward the uh, one o'clock is much better. If I press it, you can see that it goes down. So, 
and this part I will find another piece of that plastic and put it there okay I've cut that piece of plastic uh, along the length into two pieces so I can just join them to there and I've joined these two pieces of plastic together now I'm going to make a circle and put it inside that shot so now I have uh, installed this uh, plastic ring like that and it looks like this I may just uh, you know put some uh, black uh, ink around the edge I may not do it because the other the original thing is also is not black and if I look here this is the view I will see I turn off the flash so you can see and I see a good improvement I can add another one this is now I transferred it to the top part if I add it to the bottom part I will have a better setting this is now here I can add another one here midway but at the moment that's enough adequate for the purpose part of that problem is because of the sagging of here so when I pull it down that will just stretch it and the view will come better so let me just show it to you now like that uh, the view is now better actually it's near circular so the whole uh, mirror is illuminated almost and what you see at the 10 o'clock is the focuser actually I can move it now you can see this is the focuser if I take it out of the field of view and with a little duct tape the size of a fingernail also attach the excess flap to the rest of the shroud so practically is not uh, bothering is not hanging is blocking the light also that's very good and this uh, the price of this is now depending on where you buy it anything between 100 pounds to 200 pounds and I made it almost for free I started by around uh, 6 o'clock and now is around half past 7 and it's done and uh, okay tonight uh, is the first night I'm using the shroud on this telescope the shroud that I made it myself <laughs> practically saved a lot of money and uh, now I'm using it and the first night that I'm using it is dew forming everywhere so right decision look at the steam rising from my breath so I'm really happy that I did this and let's have a look on the moon this is the moon and beside it to the left side of it is the planet Jupiter and what a good night for this the night that uh, uh, dew is forming Shroud is really serving its purpose.